Welcome back everybody to a brand new video on the channel. Today we are back with another episode of Camp Minecraft. In this episode of Camp Minecraft, we are going to be playing as an Enderman and opening our own Enderman store. It's going to be pretty awesome, so if you guys do enjoy it, be sure to hit it with a like and comment down below what your favorite part of the episode was. And as always, subscribe if you guys are new, because it really, really does help out the channel. Other than that, let's just hop straight into the video. Okay, so hopping straight into a brand new episode of Camp Minecraft here. The sun is coming up and there's a few changes to go over here at Spawn. One of those first things being something that Alexton and I have done. We've gone ahead and redone this little spawn area made it look a lot prettier we've added like the enchant table from over there to like here now in its own tent we've moved the nether portal a little bit closer we moved the signboard closer and we just made it look a lot nicer overall so let me know what you guys think down in the comments below if you guys prefer this new area and if you guys think we did a good job I, I, I think it turned out pretty nicely but if we go over here to the signboard it says Alexson's construction co hi meeting day that's been a thing for a while but then it also says new police station down the road so I'm guessing that the police station has been moved from here I'm not sure what this is we'll check that out in a second all the way down yeah okay so down here and on the left so this looks like a new area of spawn that's opening up which is kind of nice more place for buildings and all that good stuff and we've got yeah we've got the police sign uh, it looks pretty nice I, th I think it's pretty good so we can go report all of our crimes there if there are any crimes to report and I think some roads have been redone around here like we have this one main road going down instead of a road that goes across we also have another road going down this side now as you guys can see coming down here so there's a lot more spaces for builds and stuff this place has been opened up a little bit more to loop up over there and the roads are all linking together so spawn is coming together very 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 nicely here so I'm looking forward to what there will be uh, you know so I'm looking forward to what there will be around here in the future what things are going to be getting built around here and all that that kind of stuff and I think there's even like this whole area that has been terraformed over here so yeah yeah, yeah. The, the roads have been linked from here and all the way over here remember this big old mountain that was here I think they all got terraformed down and we now have a pathway connecting these so we have a lot more places for builds all over spawn now and I'm gonna check this side of spawn to see if there's anything new over this side of spawn as well okay so there doesn't actually look like this anymore wait wait a second hold up has somebody stolen my gold from my treasure chest are you serious dude wait who's who has done this wait there's a oh there's a boat in here there's they stuck everything. Oh my god. Okay, well, we're gonna have to find out who did that in the next episode because I, I have a whole different plan for this episode. But yeah, in my next episode, we'll get to the bottom of that and start getting back on whoever whoever did something like Oh my goodness. I, I'm just not happy with that. And then we also have everything normal over here. But actually, Jeff, we might need to borrow you a little bit later. I, th I think Jeff could actually help us out with something that I have planned out for today's episode. And I think the last new thing is this thing just at spawn that we went by. And it, it looks like a little stone, like, hut, I guess. I'm not too sure exactly what it is. It's it. Uh, it says subway subway entrance and subway exit so I guess I guess somebody's making a subway I think that Sigils actually wants to film a clip about this I, I think this is the subway that Sigils is building he wants to film a clip about it so hey let's go ahead and hop into that and see what he wants and we hey hey buddy hey hey, hey, hey. what are you doing on my property mr. Sigils <laughs> Get back on the board, Will. Get back on the board. Oh, okay, okay. You got a boat too. You got a boat too. Okay, okay. We can chill. We can chill. We can chill. You're always so such a way, okay? Henry such a, so um, such a way. Okay, okay. Um, What's what that mean? Going on here, buddy? Uh, nothing, uh, nothing. Just, you know, a little bit of a pirate cove, maybe. I don't know. It's just, you know, it, it is what it is. It might be. It might be. Well, hey, uh, I'm, I'm here actually because I'm in uh -huh. the midst of conducting, conducting a survey. Okay. Uh, I am working with uh, everybody who has a base far away from spawn. Now, I know you have a nether portal, uh -huh. uh, but I'm setting up a subway system, uh, which will connect spawn to the far away bases. Okay. Uh, currently, Gold and Koran have their bases uh, being set on it. Uh -huh. uh, I wanted to see if you'd be interested in uh, being connected to the Sigil's rail. So, how, how fast is this rail line? Are we talking like, you know, super fast? Are we talking about like, decently fast? Or are we talking about like faster than another? Top minecart speeds. Oh, top minecart, Ooh, speed. top minecart guaranteed. speeds guaranteed. Okay, I yep. like the sound of that. And what do I do? I have to pay you? Do I have to do anything in this, or do you uh, just yeah, set yeah, it up? You pay. A, you pay a connection fee. Um, you'll uh -huh. tell me where you would like your uh, station to be. Uh huh. Uh, uh, there is a cost to use, but it's very cheap. You know, you, you buy uh, tickets. Wait. It costs bucks. Wait, 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 wait. So you're saying I gotta pay to set it up, and I also need to pay each time I use it, Sigils? Well, it's not each time you use it. Like you'll you'll pay like a camp buck and get a bunch of tickets. Oh, okay, okay. So, so, so it's like a pass. It's like a five time pass like or something a, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something okay. Like that, something like that. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. okay. I like I like the sound of that. And how much is the fee to set it up? You know. Well, it really depends on distance. Can you can you show me where you would like uh your your station connection? Okay. I I think what could be kind of cool is if we maybe. Had yeah, right, right here. If we had like a little tunnel going down here to the subway system, yep. maybe, it, and we it just is traveling underground, most in most okay, cases, just nice. To avoid, you know, it, it would be pretty to do sky trams, but I don't want to interfere with other yeah. builds or mine. Yeah, trams okay, I, 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 you know, sometimes it might mess up. Okay, so yeah, if, if it goes underground, if we have like right a little, here. if we have a little subway right here, I, I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
So let me look at, uh, you're looking at about a thousand blocks. Let me do some math, all right? Lord. I thought you were about to say a thousand count bucks for a second. I was about to be like, sigils, I don't even have 10 right now. Actually, I'm like, I'm like, we'll see. Right, so let, me, let me write this down. Okay, okay, you write down the coordinates, write down the coordinates, and give me a price, give me a price, Sigils. Alright, hey, well, at about a thousand, uh, I think you're looking at about five camp bucks. Five camp, I can do that, I can do that, Sigils. Yeah, no, hey, let it's me go, priced, and also the thing with this is, hey, hey, I, I had a pretty, I had a pretty bad experience with the nether portal, you know, I did lose a close friend of mine, Frankenstein, and... You would be able to send, uh, well, yeah, a horse might be tricky, they're they're tall, but I do plan on making the tunnels, you know, safe for you. Okay, safe for you, so I, I might be able to fit down a horse, is what you're saying, if I, oh, if I... If not, uh, pigs and cows, for sure. Yeah, yeah, horses, yeah. Horses, uh, I think they're a little bigger. I and I could always get the expansion big. pass, right? That's true, that's true, if you want to pay for, uh, an, an industrial level tunnel, you know, we can talk about that. Okay, okay, so how many camp bucks did you say? You said four. Wait. You said, uh, five. You said five. Okay, okay, here we go. So I got you one gold camp buck, that's four normal camp bucks, and a normal camp buck. So that's five camp okay. bucks. Uh, Alright, perfect. Well, Henry, we will uh, get your station set up. I'll contact you once it's available and ready. And uh, thank you for doing business. Thank you for building the subway system. So just, I'll see you later, man. Bye! So I got a message from Sigils, and I, I, I read through it, and apparently this thing's all hooked up and ready. Subway entrance, subway exit. Okay, yeah, so it looks like he's actually done it here. Let's go Let's go down the entrance and see what this is all about. Oh, this is so slow. I might, I might want to remove this and just have it be a straight drop down, because that's probably going to be a lot quicker than going all the way down like this. It's kind of, kind of slow. It looks like he has gone ahead and done this. So this actually links all the way back up to spawn. It takes a little while to go down here, but it looks like this goes all the way back to spawn. So if we want to transport anything like village, Horses, rest in peace, Frankenstein. Uh, a safer way, then maybe this this might be the way of doing it. I, th I think this is actually going to be really, really useful for all those types of things and getting things to our spawn and getting things to our base a lot quicker. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with what we paid for that. I think that's a pretty good price. I'm just wondering if maybe I can get it replaced with like ice or something to make it quicker, like boats and ice, because that's the fastest way. Or hopefully there's an update to minecarts at some point where it makes them a lot faster. Because right now they are so incredibly slow. <laughs> but yeah, hopping into the topic of today's episode, what I actually want to do is make an ender store because you guys, you guys know this piglin farm here, here. Let me go into the nether and show you guys exactly what I mean. So you guys know all about this little piglin farm we got going here. Well, this generates us a lot and a lot of ender poles. Now, these are going to be pretty important in what we're going to be using them for, but here, all of these ender poles is what we are actually going to be using. Oh, it looks like we have some in there as well. Do we have anything else? No, nothing else. Okay, so here, I'm going to grab all of those ender poles and actually use them for something that might be, might be a lot better. I think I have some obsidian at my base as well that we're going to be using as well. So here, let me check my base. Um, Where is it? Where is it? Normal blocks stone blocks and random blocks. Okay, yes, yeah, so we got a bunch of obsidian. We might need to get a little bit more. That should be too hard. We just need to go down to lava level and get some. But what we actually could be making is an ender store this episode. And we're not just going to be selling ender poles and like ender chests and stuff. We're also going to be selling the brand new ender stores. So the sword pack actually got updated. And here, let me go ahead and show you guys what we can actually do now. So if I go ahead and grab some diamonds and stuff. So there's a few new items all related to the eyes of ender and stuff and ender poles. One of them is this brand new enderman sword. And this thing is pretty awesome. And then another thing is this enderman diamond sword now i'm not going to show you guys the enderman diamond sword just yet because we need eight of these ender diamonds so it's quite expensive but i'll show you guys that at the end but hey I'll, I'll go ahead and show you guys the enderman sword at the moment so this is the enderman sword and what it does is we can just go ahead and stand here and right click it and we get randomly teleported around so we kind of got teleported all the way up here and we can just go back down there so if i'm running around and we need to get away from something very very quickly i can just go ahead and slap this and get teleported completely randomly now the enderman diamond sword is quite a lot better than this but i'm going to save that until the end of the episode to do because it's going to take up quite a few resources and things. But yeah, I think I want to go ahead and make like an ender store or something where I sell ender diamonds, I sell these enderman swords, and I also sell ender chests. I think that would be a pretty good deal, and maybe we can also sell ender poles themselves as well. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. So hey, yeah, let me go ahead and head over to spawn and see if we can find a good place to build the shop. Okay, so as you guys saw by the intro, there are a lot of spaces here that have opened up, and a lot of things actually kind of near spawn, which is actually super, super good real estate. But I'm not sure if I want to like overstep my boundaries or anything like that. I mean, this could be a pretty good point right here if I went ahead and made it right here, maybe? Yeah, I, I, I think this is a good spot, actually. It's right close to spawn, and it's, like, down this brand new road that's going to be made. So I, I think this should be a good spot here, and I'm pretty sure Biffle's planning to do something with this house at some point, so I'm going to let him do that. But yeah, I don't, I don't think that's intruding too much if we go ahead and build it here and, like, span it from maybe here over to, like, this side. Make it nothing too big, nothing too crazy. Hey, Sigils! Hey, Sigils! Um, what are you, what are you doing over... Are you fishing? Are you fishing for... Oh. Oh my, there's literally no fish. This is like the worst fishing spot ever. The best fishing spot is like just right there on that little like cobblestone block over there in the distance. I, I always go fish I fishing. I invented fishing. Okay, well, well, I mean, so just, I'm going to need something else that you 
I guess, invented, or at least have a lot of it. I, I know you've been dealing... Look at me when I'm talking to you, Sigil. Stop, stop oh fishing. Oh, my stop, what? Fine, Henry. Stop fishing for a second. I need to get my hands on... Oh, stop. Am I froze? I'm froze. Okay, I hate yeah. you. I hate you so much for that. But I need to get my hands on some concrete powder. or Actually, oh, some, some hardened wait, wait. concrete or whatever, because... Um, wait, wait, wait. Um, not, not, not in the open. Not in the open. Not out in the open. Where, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, oh, okay. Is this your is this your concrete dealership? Where? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, under the docks, under the docks. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be chill, be chill, okay, be chill. okay, okay, okay. So, up, what's up, what's up? I need to get my hands on some purple concrete and some whoa, white whoa, whoa, whoa. We concrete. Don't, we don't say the c word. Call oh, it else, um, else. call it a uh, meth. That's better. Huh? Math. Math. Oh, okay, okay. So I need to get myself some purple math, and I need to get myself some white math. You know what I mean? I can't believe you said that, stupid. Okay, yeah, yeah. How much do you need? Uh, I, I think I need maybe like a couple stacks of white and one stack of purple might do the trick, I think. Okay. Um, well, uh, I uh, charge two, two camp bucks per stack. Yeah, I, I heard that on the grapevine. So I, I brought you six camp bucks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is, is that going to be enough for what I need? All right, yeah, okay. Well, we'll also facility, but once I'm done, um... I yeah, just, just, just come and give it to me whenever you're ready, so Just come and give it to yeah, me whenever okay, you're okay, ready. Okay. Alright, yeah, I'll yeah, see you later, man. Yeah, <laughs> I'll see yeah, you yeah, later. Yeah, I'm going fishing. You, you go off into your processing uh, facility. Oh my goodness. Swimming with the fishies, that's what you're doing. Okay, guys, so the build is done, but I decided not to build it here. You know, I flattened this whole area out and stuff, and I decided, actually, you know, I think a better area would be this new area over here. You know, this, this new area of spawn, which is getting developed, and we're getting new builds all the time over here. But here, let me go ahead and show you guys how it came out in three, two, one. Once a da, welcome to the Ender Store. Now here, I'm gonna be selling all of the goods, all of the goodies, but there is one thing missing from this store at the moment. Actually, there's a couple things. So here, let me go ahead and grab these and go ahead and grab the sign because I think this is what's gonna make it look all so much better together. So here, let's go ahead and put the R right. Oh, I'm, I'm messing up already. Oh no. Okay, so the R goes there. E, D, N, E, and then there we go. The Ender Store. Welcome to it. So here, what we need to go ahead and do now is I actually have most of the stuff on me, I think. So we're going to be selling Ender Diamonds, Enderman Swords, and then also some Ender Chests, which I think... Wait, how do you make Ender... I think it's an Eye of Ender we need. So we need to go ahead and get some Blaze Powders and stuff, and some more Obsidian. So I'll go ahead and do that in a second. But here, we can go ahead and do all of this stuff for now, where we can go and maybe, like, place some signs and stuff around here. But yeah, basically, this is in the interior. It's pretty nice. We've got some lights and stuff, and also, if anybody throws any payments in, for example, camp box, we can go ahead and receive them just by breaking this block right here, and it'll give us all our goods back from in there. So it's pretty good. And I think I also have the perfect idea for somebody who needs a job on camp um, to, to be our little store man. So I'll hop into that clip in just a second here. But hey, he, let's go ahead and fill this thing up. So I'm thinking for the ender diamonds, since they cost one diamond and four ender poles, we can go ahead and sell them for two diamonds, if that makes sense. So ender diamond to camp bucks. There we go. Then we can go ahead and do a little like sign thing here. Actually, I think we should switch these two around. Okay, that's much better. That's much better. And you guys will see exactly why people are going to be wanting to buy these ender diamonds pretty soon here. I'll show you guys after we go ahead and do all of this. And I think we should also be able to like get a little get a little deal here. The enderman sword for two camp bucks. Because technically this only takes up two ender pearls. This is going to be used to make the ender diamond sword. And then we can also go ahead and sell some ender chests up here. And then right here we can go ahead and sell four ender pearls for a camp book. I think that sounds good. So hopefully people are dumb and they go straight for the sword because technically they can make like two swords for the price of one here, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. So let me go ahead and put that there and put four times ender pose for one camp buck and then we need to make some ender chests and things. So we'll go ahead and get this thing filled up with as much as we can and then I'm going to show you guys exactly why people are going to be wanting to buy these ender diamond swords because we're going to make the ender diamond sword. But first let's go ahead and hop into a clip where I think I find the perfect employee for this store. Hey Alex, are you over there at your at your little what? shop? Um, Are you over here anywhere? Where are you? Yeah, I'm in here. Do you want to oh, make oh, a hey. reservation? Oh, uh, no, I, I, I didn't actually want to eat or get anything from Alex's tavern. I actually, I had a question for you, and it was okay, uh, what, what, kind of about Jeff, question? and I don't know why he's screaming right now. What about I, Jeff? I didn't look at him, but he, him? he doesn't seem too happy. Um, what? He's always happy. Well, you you know how Jeff has just kind of been chilling in this boat this whole time? He, he hasn't really had a yeah. purpose. He's kind of just been, I guess, almost your pet, right? Okay, I, you was, what are you trying to say here, well, Henry? I have a business proposal for Jeff, Alex. I have a Bus business proposal. Okay, okay. Well, what is what is said business proposal for Jeff? Well, you see, I've recently opened up this this brand new store, and it's a it's an Ender store, right? So, okay. I was wondering if 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 Jeff wanted to be my employee. I mean, he seems pretty employee. thrilled about it. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, Jeff is always happy. Um, okay, wait, 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 wait. Jeff is an icon. He's uh -huh. a superstar on Camp Minecraft. Okay. So can, since he's still uh, like technically my pet, I was hoping that maybe I can get some profits on whatever you sell at Ender's shop. Uh, here, let's go ahead and transport <laughs> Jeff over and I might give you right. one of my um, one of my items that I'm selling. How about that? Okay. How about that? Okay, that's a deal, but very uh, important, very important question. Will I be able to visit Jeff anytime? Of course, of course. Of Jeff course is always going to be there. He's not going to be going anywhere. He's just be, you okay. know, a hardworking citizen, you know? Perfect. I'm okay. good with it then. Well, how are we going to move him? I think it should be... Oh my god, this is scary. I just see uh, a shaking block uh, in my head. But I think, hey, if you follow me around, um, we should okay. be able to um, um, get around here. So, so if you go over to where the shop is, or actually, I think the okay. first thing we need to overcome is the bridge. I think that might be a little bit of an issue. So if you go to Cherry's yeah, yeah, bridge, yeah, yeah. Um, hey, okay. we can probably go around. He has a block inside. He's just shaking his block inside. Oh, he's chilling. He's chilling now. Yeah, he's all he's, happy. He's, 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 all happy he's all happy now. He's, he's happy now. We've finally taken him on his walk, and we... Oh, oh we no, he's, he's mad again. He's mad again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, because I just brought it up, probably. Okay, um, so what am I- <laughs> He looks so funny. He's like, I've never saw this side of camp before. <laughs> we're going on a, a road trip right here. So we have a bridge right here, which I think is going to start suffocating him. Oh, do not kill Jeff. I will break the bridge. You stay right over okay, there. Okay, okay, okay. Jeff cannot die. Jeff cannot die, okay? Uh, yeah, I'll back, up, I'll back it up a little bit. You just need to break this one yep, block yep, yep. line here of the fences and okay, the blocks, okay. and we should right be able to go here. straight through. Okay, I'm gonna honestly do two blocks just cuz uh, we're good. Oh wait, you did it. <laughs> no, oh, you did it. Okay. Now uh, go okay. ahead and fix that up. Make oh, sure we're not just leaving bridges cut in half Alex Make sure you fix it I up mean, boy. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll fix, it it later. We'll fix it later. We'll fix it later. Okay. Okay will cover it. Okay, I see I see you so I think if we go all the way around here. Yeah, we're almost there We're almost there this this oh, river going around camp is actually so like useful for like, things like this yeah. For so, transporting Jeffs around. Yeah, it, transporting <laughs> Jeffs around. Oh my god, he looks so, so phony right now. Here, this next part's gonna be kind of difficult. I'm gonna need you to like. Oh, oh, I see. This is oh, this this okay. is the one difficult part because uh, we're gonna need we're gonna need water going yes. up. I think. Uh, I don't think you can you can't travel with boats going up. It has to be a straight path. Okay. Um. So. Hey, let me hop out real quick. Is, yeah. Oh, Jeff, Jeff, chill, chill, chill. Okay, so head. <laughs> I think we might have to like use some kind of elevator with the what is it, with the soul sand. We might have to get something sorted out here. So oh, hey, give us a okay. second here. We're gonna use some soul sand. We're gonna use some water, and we're gonna get Jeff. We're gonna get Jeff all the way over to the end of shop. This is gonna be it's gonna be a little bit of a struggle. <laughs> okay, so we went ahead and made this little system here that works pretty well. Basically, yes. we rode we rode Jeff's boat into here, and he flung on up here, and then we just managed yep. to basically drive him along here, and he's over in the in the end of store now. So check it out, check it out. He's in. I his, really like the shop, Henry. I, I I like how it turned out as well. I like how it turned out as well. We got Jeff, the little employee. Here. So, so I guess here, I'll, 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 I'll say this. I'll say this. We can do throw payments to Jeff. Perfect, perfect, yeah. perfect. There we go. So, any any payments that get thrown over to Jeff, just go straight into the hopper system and get walking. Very, very nice. Jeff is a businessman. Now. Look at him being a businessman. He is like the you know the little employee wait, of Ender wait, Store. Wait. What? You did, what? You did what? Wrong here. Oh, did I spell his? Did I spell his name wrong? I spell his name wrong. Bro, okay, okay. Bro, well, payments. Hey. Lowercase jet like this, Henry. Hey, you know what I'm gonna offer you, Alex? I'm gonna offer you two of our newest products. First things first. Ooh. A nice old brand new ender chest. Check it out. You know you, you can old? a brand a brand new old ender chest. You know that's exactly what it is. And something okay. that Alex, this is gonna blow my, your mind. This is gonna blow your mind. You know what this is? Do you know what this what is? is? What is it? What, no, is, what, what is does it, it look like? What does it look like? It looks like a diamond sword. Well, it looks like a diamond sword, but it has a, it has a little Wait, bit of a difference to it. Go different. ahead, yeah, go ahead and Why pick is that it up. Different. It's an Enderman sword. Wait, it what is, is it in fact an Enderman what? sword. Go ahead and give it a little right Wait. click. Go ahead and give it a little right click. Wait, I can right click right now. Wait. Wait, what? You teleport what? randomly within 15 blocks, just like an Enderman, dude. You can become one with Jeff. That's hey, why look, Jeff. Henry. Uh, look, you're already on top I, of that. Oh my goodness, that's <laughs> sick. This thing is great. Okay, well, oh my gosh. what I'm actually gonna be making. Well, I mean, I mean, I guess the shop's ready to go, but what I'm gonna be making is something a little bit cooler. So here, do you, you want to yeah, yeah. do you want to see what I'm gonna be making here? I'll, I'll, I'll take you through the process. So okay. first things first is we're gonna need to make a normal diamond sword. Yeah. Okay, and then we come over to this custom crafter right here, and we can make some pretty cool diamonds. Here. So we go ahead and make one of them right here, and this makes the ender diamond. Now we're gonna need eight of these. This is a very expensive sword to make, and just like that, we have. 
all eight of the ender diamonds. Then we go ahead and put the eight ender diamonds around like this and put the diamond sword in the middle. And this makes the ender diamond sword. Alex, this thing what? is pretty awesome. Now, it looks very, very similar to just a normal diamond sword. It has a slight different color. But, Alex, you want to know what this thing does? You want to know what this thing does? What, is, what, is it, what does it do? How do we, does, so, it, does, it, does it hit people like diamond swords? No, 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 no. So the downside is it, it cannot be enchanted and it only has the normal base damage of a normal diamond sword. But the plus yeah. side is check out what I can do. You know, see okay. the, see, the, ready, trouble, ready. see ready. the top of the uh, tree right there? I'm looking at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, what? I, uh, I, I, I messed what? up. It takes a little bit of learning, but look. What? I can teleport what? wherever I want, wherever Edwin. I'm looking. Dude, I am an what Enderman. I can teleport, dude. Check this thing out. Look, look, look. If I want to go over to that tree right there. You know, just, <laughs> I, just, just I just need to get a little bit better. But there we go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Takes a little bit what of practice, but check it out. I can just teleport wherever like I want, dude. Wherever I'm looking. Houdini. Houdini look, I'm over here. Teleporting swords. Alex, look, I'm yeah. over here. And now, I'm yeah, over yeah. here. Wait. Oh, or am I, or am I, or am I, over here? <gasps> Wait, where did you go, Henry? Over right here, dude. Right. I can't see you. Are you, are you, where? right? Oh, oh, hey, hey. <laughs> you're literally, <laughs> you're literally blind, dude. But yeah, this Ender Diamond Sword is pretty overpowered. And um, because it's so expensive, I'm not going to be selling these in the shop. This is just my personal item. But yeah, I'll see you later, Alex. Oh. Okay. Okay, guys, but yeah, I think that's where we're gonna wrap today's episode. We're gonna head and made the Ender Store, and we've made this awesome Ender Diamond Sword, which I can literally like teleport anywhere. This thing, this thing is crazy. I need to get a little bit better with using it though, because clearly I'm not the best Enderman at the moment. We're gonna have to get our Enderman skills a little bit higher. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy the episode, be sure to smack it with a like and comment down below what your favorite part of the episode was. And as always, if you guys are new, go ahead and hit that sub button because it really, really does help out the channel. But other than that, I'll see you guys again next time. Peace.